dynamic news. First up on the agenda, Cyberpunk 2077 released yesterday. The game's been in development for eight years, finally came out. Man, eight years. Imagine what you could get done in eight years. Maybe I'll have my driver's license in eight years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it took TF2, I think. It took nine years to come out. So who knows? We'll see. We'll see how good the game is when the reviews come out. There's already some reviews out right now, but that's after like 0.1 hours of playing the game. I don't know how you could review a game after 0.1 hours. But there were a few reviews that I saw that did have some valid criticisms, like the the problem where you can't rebind the movement controls on the keyboard. So if you're left-handed, you can't you can't rebind the movement keys to something on the right of the keyboard. So that sucks. That really sucks for you guys. Sorry, sorry to see that. They also beat Counter Strike on the player boards. So they got one million concurrent players. And it beat off Counter-Strike as far as the 24-hour uh, peak goes. So good on you. Good on you guys. Maybe maybe it's not a bad game. Who knows? All right, what do we got next? Alden, still in the yellow zone. So I have some criticisms of the zone system. So people from the orange zone have been coming to Alden area to do dine-in dinner or lunch, whatever meal. So they'll drive half an hour or more to sit in a restaurant and eat because they're not allowed to do that in the orange zone. To me, that's kind of stupid. It's been, it's been a handful with some of the places around here having to deal with that. So I don't know, either make it all, just have it uniform. Whatever, whatever system you're gonna do, just make it uniform so that people aren't going to the more lenient places. It's kind of ridiculous at this point. Come on, Cuomo. Next up, we got cup and char pepperoni shortage in Buffalo, New York. So whoever is supplying the cup and char pepperoni isn't producing enough, and a lot of restaurants aren't getting their supply that they need. Um, we have dynamic scheme here with an interview with an employee at Carbone's Pizzeria. Here you go. Hello, we're here at Carbone's Pizzeria. Um, we're going to interview Ryan here. Um, so what do you have to say about the cup and char pepperoni shortage in Buffalo area? Well, honestly, I think I've noticed it quite a bit because we don't have cup and char here, but everybody's always calling about it. And, uh, yeah, we just don't have cup and char. I know other places do around here, but that's all I really know about that. Right, right, right. So, um... Another question, how has COVID-19 affected your business? Have you guys been any slower or has it picked up a little bit? Because I know we're in the yellow zone right now and people are flocking from the orange zone to come in here and get food. So how's it been for you guys? Yeah, it's definitely impact our business here. Uh, it gets uh, really busy and then it slows down. It gets really big, it mostly comes in waves, but when the waves do come, it is extremely busy. Yeah, I, I hear you there. So uh, what, you, what you working on here? What you working on? Well, I'd like to say this to everybody that comes to Carbone's Pizzeria. When you pull in, please be a little careful with this uh, pole here because people are always hitting it, and I about fix it about two times a week. Sweat and tears go into, sweat and, sweat and tears go into this, and uh, I would just thank everybody if they could just not hit this. Thank you. All right. Thank you for the interview. Back to you, Dynamic Meme. Thank you, Dynamic Scheme. Ellen announced today that she has COVID-19. Man, I feel so bad. Man, that really sucks. Ellen has COVID-19. That sucks, man. Can't believe it. <laughs> Pfizer vaccine. <laughs> Pfizer vaccine, yeah. So the guys who make Viagra, you know those guys, Pfizer. They're working on a COVID-19 vaccine, and they're deploying it in the UK. So I hope all goes well with that. Kind of hope this thing kind of comes to an end soon. Kind of sick of it. Not going to lie to you guys. Getting ridiculous at this point. But on some, on some better news. 2080 Ti leaked through HP's driver 
update. So basically, there's a bunch of device IDs, sorry, PCI Express IDs that have been submitted to the repository that point to having a 20, sorry, a 3080 Ti, a 3050, a 3060, and a 3070 Ti. Really hope they don't just all go out of stock immediately, like it's been happening. It's been ridiculous. You can't even get a new graphics card to play the games you want anymore because they're just all sold out because scalpers keep buying them. Thank you, scalpers. You're the best. Thank you. Whew. Man. But hopefully with this diversity of cards, maybe the scalpers won't get all of them. We'll just have to wait and see. But in conclusion, the Game Awards are today. Be sure to watch them. It, I feel like it's going to be a good time. Uh, Game Awards are... You know, they can be hit or miss, they can, they can be kind of cringy or they can be pretty good, but yeah, it depends on, depends on, you know, who's going to be up on stage and who's talking. It's, it's hit or miss, really. Thank you for watching Dynamic News. Be sure to watch my other videos, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.